Some wonderful memories. Family, friends, teammates and supporters. We are all hurting, but let's all come together this evening to smile, remember and be thankful for Rob's time amongst us. We all lose special people, but it's very rare we lose someone so special to so many. Rob showed us how to live and love through the most difficult of times. He inspired us all and will continue to do so. To the bravest and toughest man I have ever met. Thank you, my little friend. I'm only one call away. What about the day when you heard that Leeds were interested in signing you? It's a dream to play for Leeds, that's what I want to do as a young lad, that's all I thought about. Burrow has got the possession, Burrow still, Burrow! Oh, fabulous! This kid is all talent. He's got support from Rob Burrow and Wigan won't stop this fellow. He's over under the sticks, great try! Wonderful try from Burrow! Part of the sort of first championship um, Leeds have won for, for many years was just was just an outstanding um, outstanding feeling. Oh, it was just an honour playing for your country, you know. I, I just love playing out there, and now thankfully I was on the back of some good team stuff. 2007 was, was, was fantastic for me. And thankfully, we, I've been part of the side in 2008, 2009, who've come, you know, to made, made history as a club. Burrow, drop goal! And that wins it for the third year in a row. Anyone can turn the game, the little man can. Burrow on the break and away from another. Was that Isis in the Invisible Court? This could be one of the tries of the season. Started, he's always been the joker of the, uh, joker of the pack without a doubt. You're getting this reputation as a dirty player, I don't know, mate. <laughs> twice I've, I've got Simbin and I've been punched twice, but um, one day I'll get something. Yeah, <laughs> First of all, that every single member of the media here tonight voted for you as man of the match. It was 100%. It's never happened before. The character in the team, uh, we never give in, and uh, you know, thankfully we've got another ring. supporters from near and far gather to offer their encouragement and friendship to one of sports genuine gentlemen a rock burrow enters the field hero of headingley what a man for you to get out there you're an absolute champion and inspiration mate good on you pal listen go out there and wave to everybody there because they, they've come here to see your dad and you know your dad's a very special man don't you yeah Members we get, but we're all billionaires, and something you nobody can ever take away from us. Tonight, Headingley, this iconic sporting venue, will be filled full of rugby league supporters here to pay tribute to their late great number seven, Rob Burrow. 
as the Rhinos return to the ground for the first time since Rob's passing. Tonight's Super League fixture between Leeds and Lee will be preceded by a celebration of the life and playing career of a man who brought joy to so many with his on-field contributions and hope to so many with his approach to the later years of his life. Yes, good evening and welcome to viewers on Sky Sports Action main event and showcase and a very special welcome to all the fans that have made their way here into AMT Headingley, where a capacity crowd will, in the presence of the Borough family, join the Leeds Rhinos to reminisce and share stories about this iconic player whose reach extended far beyond the playing fields he graced. And many of those stories will come from the 70 or so former teammates of Rob's here today, flying in from as far away as Australia to pay their tributes. And two of his closest friends and teammates who shared many special memories with Rob Burrow are here, Jamie Jones Buchanan and Barry McDermott. After weeks where we've seen all these people come here to Headingley and pay tribute to Rob, mourn for Rob's passing, it feels fitting that we are finally inside the stadium to collectively celebrate his great life. That's right, Brian. This is his family. You know, his brothers, his sisters, and have been leaving tributes of the essence, the love, the sentiment of Rob Burrow at the doors of the stadium for the last nearly three weeks. Today's about bringing it into the inner sanctum. Just spoke about that, the beating heart of Edinburgh AMT Stadium, where the lifeblood of the spirit of Rob Burrow was flowing for nearly two decades, Brian, influenced so many people. And you've got to remember that he came here as a 13-year-old boy. So the man that he became was born and manifest out of the people that he was surrounded by. And we're not just talking about players and coaches and performance staff or even fans. We're talking about the kit men and women. We're talking about the ticket office staff, the HR. Everybody in the stadium got to know the legend that is Rob Burrow. And today is all about paying tribute in their own little way. And it feels right and proper that we come inside. There's been tremendous tributes at the John, uh, John Holmes statue just to my left there. Lots of shirts, lots of scarves, lots of well wishes, but it feels right and proper that as the rugby league family, Lee Leopards, Lee Leeds Rhinos, we come inside, we embrace our friends in the MND community, we grieve, we remember, and we celebrate a great man. Indeed, Rob and his family and friends lived with MND for four and a half years. And with his great friend, Kevin Sinfield, he raised millions for the charity MND Association and gave hope to millions. It is today, Global MND Awareness Day. Every day, six people are diagnosed with MND. And every day, six people die from MND. The MND Association are working to change the fact that there is no cure. If you'd like to help, you can scan that QR code or you can go to mndassociation.org forward slash Sky Sports. Already you have contributed millions and no doubt you will help well into the future. Today we're going to take a journey through Rob's life. We're going to speak to people who admired him from afar and people who made, played a very special role in helping him fulfill his childhood dreams. We'll start off with Jenna, who is standing by with a man with special stories about Rob Burrow. Yeah, that's right, Brian. We're going back to almost the very beginning. Bob Pickles scouted Rob when he was just 12 years old. Bob, if we can go back to the first time you laid eyes on him, what did you see? Well, the first time I saw Rob was at a junior finals day at Featherston. And I was upstairs in the bar looking down through the window, and all I could see was this scrum out just beating everybody up, just running around all over the place. And I was convinced, I thought, I'll have to go down a second now. There must be somebody sat in that crowd with the remote control. He cannot do what he's doing. So I went down, and after the game, as, as they do all juniors, they ran straight away with the medal to the parents. And I went down and introduced myself to the parents, and it took off from there, the bringing Rob up to Edinley to have a look around and see what he thought. And what did they think? Oh, well, fortunately for me, Rob's father was a lifelong Leeds supporter, so it was his dream for his son to come to Leeds and play for Leeds. But it was convincing people, of course, that he was big enough to play, because nobody would believe it. And I just battled away, battled away for a couple of weeks. And then about the third week, they happened to see him playing in the, 
the uh, the older end and the says, he's a bit special, is this boy, isn't he? So we'll have a go, we'll give him a try. And they never looked back. Bob Pickles, thank you so much for finding Rob and giving him to us. Thank you. Yes, the legendary Bob Pickles. Everyone here at Headingley has Bob to thank for some of the superstars the game has seen in recent years. Be honest, Jamie. Bob was honest there. When you first saw Rob, was he too small to play? Well, he was small, wasn't he? But he was energetic and he bounced around. I actually remember Bob telling me that I had to up my work rate. He said I was a little bit too lazy as a player. He must have come and watched me after he'd been to see Rob, but that's what Rob was like in the changing rooms. He'd bounce around, he'd talk about rugby league, he'd talk about Ricky Gervais and comedy, then Michael Jackson. He'd do a little bit of dancing and then he'd go to a big NFL event. He just loved life. He loved big events and he loved the razzmatazz of things like Walt Disney. And he just never gave up dreaming. dreaming. You gave him two very important important pieces of advice in his career. One at the very start and one later on in his career. Let's start with a piece that was unsolicited advice. Well, on his debut, of course, he was in the changing room, in the corner, a little bit shy, a little bit nervous. And I thought as a senior pro, I need to go up to him, give him a little bit of advice. So I pulled him to one side. I said, listen, Rob, don't mess this up or they'll never pick you again. <laughs> I should have, because he did it to me as well. That's why it took me about five years to break through getting over it. I was right, though. OK, that was the advice at the start of his career. He came up to you a little later in his career. And in fact, you best tell this story with yeah. use of a prop, Barry. Yeah, I'm just going to get this prop. Now, this, this is somewhat staged, but this is a genuine, wow. genuine Rob Burrow replica jersey. He's gone to the Leeds Rhinos kit man, Glyn, and he has one of Rob's playing jerseys from way back in the day. What they will not be able to see here at Headingley is what's on the inside label, Barry. XL Boys. <laughs> That's what size it is. So he came to you, Barry. Yeah. He said, I'm struggling out on the field. I'm yeah. getting picked on. I'd been retired a little bit. I was head of youth. He was scholarship coach. And he said, I'm sick of getting taken out off the ball. I'm sick of people taking liberties me. I said, well, listen, I'll pass on a piece of advice to you that my dad gave to me. Find the biggest on the pitch and give him a clump. Well, that's all right coming I from you. I didn't think for one minute he would carry those instructions out. And we all know what happened, don't we? Keep <laughs> 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 up, boy. Oh, that scrappy dude. <laughs> <laughs> he was going back for more. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if he'd have connected to that, with that, Epilami Luak, he would have been in trouble. He threw so many, Luak, he thought he was surrounded. Outstanding. He even managed to rescue Keith Senior was struggling a little bit. Stepped in for the big fella. He was, I can say this as a player played with him, but more often against him. He terrorised opposition defences. You could never get at Rob Burrow because defensively, he was as sound as anybody else in the side. Absolutely, pound for pound, one of the strongest players, yeah, wasn't man, he? Yes. Had little levers, short, stumpy, and really powerful. In the gym, he'd embarrass some of the big boys and then he'd go outside, he'd run rings around them. We saw it listen to Sam Burgess a couple of weeks ago talking about how everybody was scared to death of trying to tackle Rob Burrow because he'd make you look silly on the sky cameras. Barry, a special night here, not just because we've got a huge crowd and we will build up to capacity crowd as we kick off between Leeds and Lee, but there are some very special people inside the stadium that have travelled quite a distance to celebrate the life of their former teammate. Some incredible names who've made the effort come from Australia and New Zealand, as, of course, if you, as you've already mentioned. I'm just slightly worried about that bar behind me. <laughs> I hope they've got enough drink to look after 80 former players. I'm worried. OK. Pakistan, we were going to send you live into that south stand where you're idolised. You didn't feel like you could do it. No, I stood in that stand for many years where I was educated, entertained and inspired. I wanted to get in there this evening, but it's packed. There's not going to be a dry eye or an empty seat in this house tonight. So I got inside the south stand concourse to find out what the south standers' favourite memories of Rob Burrow were. It's got to be the 2011 Grand Final, not for the famous try, but for the pass that he gave to Ryan Hall to go in at the end. He was just class all the way through. And that's one of Ryan Hall's record-breaking tallies. Steve, 
we learned a lot from Rob Burrow, not least his courage. What have you learned from that iconic figure? Well, just the same thing, you know, for such a small man, he, uh, he certainly inspired a whole generation of kids playing rugby league that it's not all about size. It's not about the fight and it's not about the size of the dog when the fight is the size of the fight in the dog. Sure, amazing. We've got a few more Leeds Rhinos fans on the concourse here. One joined by Jeff. Jeff, inspired, entertained and educated. How were you inspired by Rob Burrow? Uh, just uh, it's never say die attitude. Uh, the fact that he gave 100% every minute of the game, and how he coped when he had that MND, MND diagnosis. And he was always brave, wasn't he, James? How have you been encouraged to keep going through life? I couldn't uh, have a medical condition myself, but I take inspiration from Rob just dealing with day to day, taking it each day at a time, as Rob did with his MND diagnosis, and tackling it head on as much as I can, and yeah, just doing his best I can, taking inspiration from Rob's in, and the way that Rob conducted himself on and off the field as well. Being a small guy just helps me as well with knowing that small guys can do things that people might not think that they can. Amen to that. I don't think we'll ever be able to quantify quite the love and the legacy that Rob Burrows left behind. Jamie, thank you very much. We are joined by the chair of the Leeds Rhinos Foundation Heritage Committee, Phil Kaplan. In a club with a history like the Leeds Rhinos, it's quite the achievement to leave a lasting mark as a player. When you reflect on Rob Burrow's contribution to the history of this great club, how would you, Phil, assess his legacy? Well, I think the first thing is he excelled in two different positions, and we shouldn't forget that. His first 10 years was a scrum half, uh, the next day as a hooker, and he made an impact in both. It's very hard and invidious in some ways to compare eras. The rules change, uh, the tactics change, the physiology of the players change. Um, but I don't think there's any doubt. It's almost unequivocal that Rob Burrow is the finest number seven that this club has ever had. There would only be two other players probably to measure him against. One would be Jeff Stevenson from the 1950s. One would be Barry Seaborn from the 1970s. And while stats don't tell you everything, and, and Barry would confirm better than anybody that Rob's influence was in and around the dressing room as much as it was on the field, there are two stats that stand out that place him in that pantheon of greats. To score just over a thousand points at a time when Danny Maguire and Kevin Sinfield were in the team is astonishing. That places him ninth in the all-time club record. And to, to have just short of 500 appearances tells you not only about his durability, something that else we need to discuss is about his defensive capability. Um, and that makes him fifth in the all-time list. So there's no question that Rob Burrow is one of the greatest players this club has ever had. Well, I can tell you if you didn't hear at home when Phil said he was the greatest number seven this club has ever had, they burst into an appreciative applause here at Heading Lee. Your favourite personal moment as a Leeds Rhinos fan watching Rob Burrow? Yeah, I, I think obviously the six seconds in 2011 tells you everything about Rob and the way he played on attack, but he was never happier than at the end of a team try. And the one that I think sums him up more than any other was in the World Club Challenge at Ellen Road in 2005. Um, not only is it a fantastic score, it's a game-breaking score on the big stage, which Rob was renowned for as well. It's a history-making score, because it's the first time that Leeds could call themselves the champions of the world. But to me, it sums up everything he was about, the selfless nature of Rob Burrow being on the end of the best of his teammates' work. Phil Kaplan, thank you very much for your time. Phil Kaplan, and in the words of Phil Kaplan, Rob Burrow was the greatest number seven that this club has ever had. He was part of a golden generation here at Headingley. He was also a very important member of a special band of brothers, Jamie. That's right, Brian, a special band of brothers held for time in immortal in this famous mural at the end of the Leeds Rhinos Tunnel, just a few yards away from the home changing rooms that depicts the last time that golden generation ran out together, 12th of January 2020. And we've got one of those Iconic plays, a band of brother in there, and Keith Senior. Keith, what do you remember about that iconic day? Yeah, I think it'll go down in the memory of a lot of people's hearts. Uh, Epitomised the rugby league community, not just the teams that played out in there, but the rugby league community as a whole. You went out into the stadium and there were Leeds fans, there were Bradford fans on that day, but they all came together in the shirts. And I think that just epitomised the love for Rob uh, and everything about him. 
It's amazing, there's going to be a lot of Lee fans here as well, and we're told that Rob's first experience as a fan was Leeds versus Lee, so very iconic again. Keith, you didn't get to finish off your career in your terms through injury, so what was it like to run out one more time with Rob Burrow and that band of brothers? Yeah, uh, I had to retire through my knee, uh, and to be honest, playing in a game like this would have been quite challenging for me, but I needed to do it, not just for Rob, not just for everybody there, but for myself as well, to get that, that send-off, and it just made it even more special because of the occasion, because it was Rob's last game as well, uh, and to share that with him, I think it'll go down in everybody's hearts. And there's a few words there in the top corner left by Rob Burrow himself that inspires me every time I see it and hopefully will inspire many players who'll walk down this tunnel for many years to come. Yes, a mural featuring some of the greats, not just from this club, but that the game has ever seen. I'm delighted to say pitch side. We are joined by two more, the Dannys, Maguire, and all the way from Australia, back in Leeds, Danny Badiris. Yeah, thanks, bro. You got a phone call, you were told that this special day and night would be happening and you jumped straight on a plane. Yeah, look, small price to pay to come out on a plane for a day to come over here. It's just been so good to go around and see all the familiar faces. Jonesy rang me and said, this is probably impossible, but I said, it is possible, so let's make it happen. And, um, you know, it's just, I'm very privileged and honoured to be here tonight. Well, you had a special, obviously, relationship with Rob on the field. Few relationships were deeper on and off the field than yours, Danny Maguire, one that stretches back three decades from when you first played with and against each other as kids. Long time ago, Brian, long time ago. <laughs> um, so many great, amazing memories, and um, obviously over the last few weeks, I had a chance to sort of look back, and, um, and I think tonight, it's just for me, it's about a celebration of all them amazing times, and um, from playing against each other for Leeds, Leeds schools, against Castleford schools, and then playing our last games together for, for Leeds in a grand final, and so many amazing times and amazing memories, and, um, and that's how I remember Rob. I remember Rob for, for these moments, and, and these moments that we're seeing on the screen now, where special rugby league player, but a special person as well. Lads, I wanted to ask both of you, because as a nine, as a halfback, he changed throughout his career. What was it that made Rob Burrow so special on the field? I'll start uh, with you, Bedsy. Yeah, for me, he was always at you, and um, that was the same in the dressing room. He looked after me, but he's always at, at people in the dressing room, but on the field, he was always going to win a game or to win a moment, so he had plenty of those. A lot of success was down to, to Rob in, in how he played the game, and... Um, a lot of, a lot of uh, opposition coaches and op opposition back rowers tried to target Rob, but he'd always sit him on the, on the backside. So he always held his hands up and he's a special player, special person. You do quite a bit of media work, Danny Badiris, back in Australia, and I've heard you on podcasts, on radio and on television talking about Rob's iconic 2011 grand final try where you put yourself down as having a try assist. <laughs> Absolutely not. That was a tired pass. And, uh, yeah, Rob, Rob's talent was on display there. I had the best seat in the house there. I just watched, uh, you know, his swerve, his ducking, everything that he was great at. He made that his field of dreams that night. And, uh, you know, he made a, a moment for us that we can always, always cherish. You had a special grand final moment with him as well in 2017 when you, you lifted a trophy together in your last game together. Just, just touching on what Bass said, and I think Rob's best quality and his best quality as a teammate was his selflessness. He, he would sacrifice himself for the team, and I think in 2011 he came off the bench to score that amazing try, and one of my best memories is lifting the trophy together. I think I was captain, but I, I felt Rob deserved that just as much as me, and it was amazing, sort of our last moments together playing for the Rhinos were to lift the trophy, so, you know, one of the highlights of my career, without a doubt. A final question to you both. You've seen it from close up. Danny, you've seen it from afar. The response worldwide to the passing of Rob Burrow. Indeed, how Rob Burrow has lived out the last four and a half years of his life. Yeah, it got a global attention and um, looking from afar over in Australia, all you want to do is to be a part of it and be over here. And um, But over in Australia, it just got huge news. And right to the last breath, as I just spoke about before, he always held his hands up, Rob, and... Things were going against him, and uh, he did that right to the last breath. And um, for me to see that from over there, and he's just a special person and um, you know, a special talent, and he'll always be remembered as the legacy of the Leeds Rhinos. Yeah, just echo what Betsy said there. I think he was the most tenacious, toughest player that I ever played against, or played with and against. And he showed the same fight and grit in his battle against his illness. And um, yeah, we all love him, and everybody in this stadium tonight loves him as well. And I think it's just a a testament to the person and the character and 
the player that we all love that the, the turnout tonight and hopefully we can have a, a great occasion tonight. The club have been getting messages from people, of course, far and wide, people that can't be here tonight. And I'd like to pass on a special message as well from a colleague of ours at Sky Sports, Bill Arthur, who can't be here, but who commentated on Rob's first ever Grand Final Academy appearance. He sends his best wishes and love to the Borough family, friends, and indeed all the supporters here today. The Leeds Rhinos Club have supported Rob and Kevin in their fundraising efforts for the MND Association. That continues tonight with a special jersey the players will wear. That jersey would not have been possible without the input from a very special lady who is with Jenna. Yeah, that's right. Brian Kath Muir has been living with MND for the past 10 years. Kath, can you tell us what kind of impact, what kind of influence Rob Burrow had on you? I was diagnosed with MND just over 10 years ago when very few people had heard of the disease. It was the summer of the ice bucket challenge where lots of people got buckets of ice cold water and tipped it over themselves then posted a video of it on social media and donated to MND but many of these people didn't know what the charity was about. Then, unfortunately, Rob was diagnosed and bravely told the world about his diagnosis. Him and his lovely family showed the world what a horrendous cruel disease MND really is, how it takes away every part of you, be it by bit. So Rob had a huge effect on me and my family. He became a huge inspiration to myself and the whole MND community. At last, there was hope for us all. Kath, I think, I think everybody in this stadium would agree that Rob Burrow, yourself, Rob's family have, have had such a big impact on everyone here. Now, this is the jersey that the Leeds Rhinos are going to be running out in here tonight. Now, Kath, I understand you designed this jersey. Can you tell us about it? I was honoured to be asked to design this year's Leeds Rhinos charity shirt which the players will wear tonight. Because I can no longer hold a paintbrush, I designed the shirt using my eye gaze machine. On the bottom corner of the shirt is a copy of the picture I painted on my eye gaze of Rob and Kev which I gave to Kev last year on one of his amazing challenges. I also picked Rob's number seven and a cornflower, which is a flower associated with MND. I will feel very proud tonight seeing the players and lots of fans wearing the shirt. Kath Muir, this is beautiful. Thank you so much. Well, it is outstanding. Thank you, Kath. And thousands in the stadium here are wearing this jersey, as are Jamie Jones Buchanan and Barry McDermott. If you just turn around, the camera may be able to pick up the motif at the back. Rob Burrow and Kevin Sinfield just above the love handles here. Oh, oh, oh. Listen, you were going to put a Leeds Rhino shirt on, but ladies and gentlemen, he's not good enough. He's never been good enough to wear a Leeds shirt. Have a bit of that, Carney. Arse but fair. Uh, well done to, uh, to Kath Moore. But remember, it is Global MND Awareness Day, June 21st. Six people are diagnosed with MND every day. Six people die every day. There is no cure. The MND Association is working very hard to change that. If you'd like to contribute, that is the QR code. Or go to mndassociation.org forward slash Sky Sports. You've already been brilliant, and I know you will continue to support the MND Association long into the future. The way Rob conducted himself in the last four and a half years of his life was awe-inspiring to those near and far, and it turned heads in the sporting community. Here's a special message from another English sporting icon. I would just like to join everyone at Headingley tonight in paying tribute to the amazing Rob Burrow, who was an extraordinary rugby league player, but who went on to capture the heart of the nation with his incredible approach to living with MND. Inspirational is often an overused word, but Rob was certainly that. His bravery, his fight to uh, increase awareness of MND and his refusal to give in to the terrible disease was just staggering. Um, we can all take so much from Rob's life. He was a little warrior 
both on and off the pitch. Um, I was so lucky to have spent some time with him last year and Leeds and Rugby League and the sporting world at large will remember him forever. Thank you. The great Alan Shearer. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody here in AMT Headingley, I'm delighted to say we are joined now, pitch side, by Rob's father. Please give him a huge round of applause, Jeff Burrow. You knew it already, Jeff. You knew it already, but again tonight, this is a beautiful reminder of how important your son was to the rugby league community. Yeah, thank you very much. It's a very emotional night, um, especially because Leeds against Lee was the first home game I brought Rob to. And uh, he loved every minute, and he always used to look for, for Lee, their results as well, so I'm glad. They're doing so well in Super League. It caused them a little bit of difficulty, that Leeds Lee game. You were here as a fan, and he couldn't distinguish between Leeds and Lee. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, he had a fabulous sense of humour, and uh, he, he, he used to always go on about different teams. And, um, but I wish he could see this, this crowd. Oh, he's watching, Jeff. Don't he's make watching. no mistake about it. He wouldn't miss a night like this, no, would no, he? No. <laughs> well, Jeff, he loved the big event, didn't he? When it was, whether it was in Disney, NFL, yeah. com comedy, it was dynamite on and off the pitch. But give us an insight into what Rob Burrow was like at home as a youngster. Uh, he was cheeky, uh, but he was, he was a lovely, lovely lad. And I miss him so much. <laughs> Jeff, I want to ask one question. Yeah. You've already said he was cheeky. I'd go a lot further than he was cheeky. <laughs> oh, I'll yeah. keep it PG. He was a rascal. <laughs> Did you teach him to take liberties and pick? Let me tell you, if HR was around in 2001, oh. I'd be reporting him every day. Did yeah. you teach him? Yeah, well, um, he found out later uh, that... Uh, when I was at work, I used to play a few cracks. So it's you, is it? <laughs> so he got a little bit from me, but that's about it. Jeff, the, the memory of Rob will live on with the MND Centre here in Leeds. Ground has been broken on the Rob Burrow Centre. Yeah, uh, we're glad. We wish you could have seen it open, uh, but he will see it, you know, through Jackson and the kids and Lindsay, and, uh, and you know, we're going to make him proud. So, uh, thanks again, everybody, for all the money you've raised. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Burrow. of bravery here at Headingley, few will surpass that. There is a brave man, obviously heartbroken, wanting to share and wanting to thank everybody, both everyone sat at home and, and people who've turned out today, so we know where Rob gets it from, don't we? Well, you found out there that probably Jeff was the man who was the origins of the, the torment that you suffered at the hands of Rob. He had a wicked sense of humour. He was, Barry, a massive Alan Partridge fan. Well, he communicated in quotes and phrases. And he used to say to us all the time, needless to say, I've had the last laugh. Well, Rob, my little friend, tonight, you'll have the last words.
And then just a lad from Yorkshire who got to live out his dream of playing rugby league. As a father of three young children, I would never want any family to have to go through what my family and children have since my diagnosis. I hope I have left a mark on the disease. I hope it shows to live in the moment. I hope you find inspiration from the whole story. My final message to you is whatever your personal battle, be brave and face it. Every single day is precious. Don't waste a moment. In a world full of adversity, we must still dare to dream. Well, the life and legacy of the late, great Rob Burrow is being celebrated here at Headingley tonight, live on Sky Sports, in a city that rallied around their hero during his career and in the later years of his life. There are permanent reminders everywhere. Never will the name and number of Rob Burrow be forgotten in the city of Leeds or at the Leeds Rhinos, where over nearly two decades he shone. Well, we've got for you a second meeting of the season for Leeds and Lee. Round four saw a come-from-behind win for the Rhinos against opposition struggling at the start of their new campaign. Times have changed as we hit round 15. Tonight's hosts are on the hunt for a new coach and a much-needed win against a Leopards team edging themselves back into playoff contention. Leeds Rhinos currently two off the top six behind the Catalan Dragons. For the Leopards, they are five behind. They do, though, have that game in hand. Well, there's been so much for the Leeds players to process this week as the club parted company with head coach Rowan Smith 48 hours before tonight's emotional evening at Headingley and the 80 minutes of action that awaits them. Round 14's defeat to Lowly Hall FC was the tipping point in the end. This team must now regroup and try to get their Super League season back on track against opposition that seem to have finally got theirs into gear. Just one win in their first seven had some suggesting last year's fifth place finish was a flash in the pan. Not so maintained head coach Adrian Lamb. And while they still remain an outside chance of the top six, a win here tonight would serve further notice to the rest of the Super League competition that the Leopards will once more be a force to contend with. Uh, welcome back here to Headingley. We are building up and moving ever closer to kick off here from the round 15 fixture between the Leeds Rhinos and the Lee Leopards. A little earlier, Jenna caught up with the man in temporary charge, interim charge of the Leeds Rhinos following the departure of head coach Rowan Smith. Here's Chef Walker. Yeah, thanks, Ryan. Look, we all know that Chev Walker was a good friend and former teammate of Rob Burrow. Chev joins me now. Chev, to take charge of the Leeds Rhinos for the first time on a night like tonight, it must mean a lot. Um, yeah, without a doubt. But again, it's not who's in charge. It's, it's about Rob. Um, that's been the, the whole message when we knew that the, the event was going to be going ahead. So, um, yeah, our main focus is to play our part in that and, and to celebrate Rob and and playing the same spirit as Rob, be brave and, and attack it. It's, of course, going to be an emotional night. That, coupled with what has happened the last couple of days, what kind of reaction are you looking for from your players? Um, and again, like, it's a distraction in itself, but we've, we're professionals, we have to turn up and go to work. Um, and I spoke about that yesterday. We, as coaches, we know what we sign up for. Um, and the players just need to start believing in themselves and and um, back themselves and, and put on a performance tonight. Chev Walker, all the best. Thank you. Thank you. An emotional night for Chev, a former teammate of Rob's now in interim charge of the Leeds Rhinos. That was a little earlier on. Here's Jenna now live with the head coach of the Lee Leopards, Adrian Lamb. Yeah, thanks, Brian. What an emotional night it has been already, and the game hasn't kicked off yet. Adrian Lamb, how fortunate do you feel? How fortunate do your players feel to be part of this amazing occasion? 
Yeah, as a club, we're very grateful, obviously, to be playing uh, tonight, and we've done our part as well. And we've talked about Rob over the last couple of weeks, how inspirational he's been to the to, to his club, um, rugby league fans, players, and another small halfback in the game that turned a hooker. So, you know, we're grateful to be here, and I, I guess the best way to pay respect to that is, is to play well tonight. So much emotion on show. How can you use that emotion to your advantage? I think it'll be a real physical start, but I, we've, we've talked about how that's going to play a part. Just got to make sure we keep our composure through that start, start well, and then put ourselves in a position in the back end of the game to, to, to get the win. Adrian Lamb, good luck. Thank you very much. Yeah, Adrian Lamb, well aware of the emotion tonight. We built up to tonight's game with a tribute show to Rob Burrow. Lots of work went into it. We'd like to thank our friends at BBC Breakfast for their contributions as well. They are very, they were very, very gratefully received. Adrian, aware of the magnitude of the occasion. Chev, quite obviously as well. Take the viewers at home, if you will, into the dressing rooms of a side who has in between games parted company with their coach Rowan Smith just 48 hours ago told that his time at the Leeds Rhinos was up. There is no doubt that last Saturday was shambolic at times but as a player you get in the changing room you want some instruction off your coach you want some certainty you want some direction and when that hasn't happened because the coach has unfortunately left there is some you know some questions and some looking around Ian Blees has come in he's obviously had a, an eventful first 72 hours or so, the decision was made to part company with Rowan. Chev Walker knows this place, understands this place, and understands probably what it takes to use that emotion to fire those players up. And when it comes down to the nuts and bolts of the game, Edwin Apapi on the least leopard side is the player that they've got to stop because if he gets into his stride, then they're in all kinds of trouble, and that's down to the to the collective team effort. Is the team talk from Chev and from Scott Greg simplified tonight? Well, there's a lot of moral threads, there's a lot of emotion running through the team for a, for a multitude of reasons, but Chev mentioned it, the players tonight for the next 80 minutes have got to be professional. They've all got a job to do, they've just got different roles within that job, and the same outcome is what is intended, what's needed. It's a, put a, a good performance in front of this crowd that's come out in droves to support Fundamentally, Rob Burrow, you know, it's about the occasion today. There's not going to be any winners or losers in that context. But this is sport, and those boys have got to be professional. This is an opportunity to book their best foot forward tonight. Brian, my mind goes back to probably 12 months ago when the Burrow takeover was on this very ground. Packed stadium again, fast track, same conditions. The Rhinos probably didn't play as well from that point on, so it was the best performance of the year, and that's what they need tonight, nothing they, less. They, they can't ask for much more from the fans here at AMT Headingley Stadium. They have packed out the ground. There is also a huge following from the Lee Leopards. They are on the crest of a wave over at Lee, and they'll have it all to beat, all to do, I should say, the Rhinos to get over the top of the Leopards. The legacy of Rob Burrow will obviously provide the backdrop to this round 15 fixture from the Betfred Super League. We'll take a short break here at Headingley. When we come back, we will have kickoff from this round 15 fixture as Leeds take on Lee. The first ever game Rob was brought to by his father was Leeds and Lee. On an emotional night in Leeds, at the end of a turbulent week for the club, we move ever closer to kick-off between the Rhinos and the Leopards. It's round 15 of the Betfred Super League as we bring you two sides desperate to remain in the hunt for a playoff place. The lead side chose four changes to the team beaten by Hull in round 14. Ned McCormack and Alfie Edgill come in in the backs. And on the bench, there are debuts for Ben Littlewood and Sam Essay, the new signing from Wigan. That is the 17 prepared this week by Chef Walker and Scott Griggs. Riding high are the Lee Leopards after that win over the Catalan Dragons in the south of France. Gareth O'Brien will partner Lachlan Lamb in the halves. Edwin Epape will start on the bench for Adrian Lamb. And there is a debut in Super League for their new signing from the Melbourne Storm, Aaron Penne. Well, shortly we will hear the voice of a man who will fill a stadium already pulsing with emotion, Jenna. Yeah, Brian, John Innes has performed in front of this Headingley crowd on many occasions before the late, great Rob Burrow worked his magic. John Innes, it's an emotional night for everybody in this stadium, including yourself. Yes, it is indeed. Um, 
I followed uh, Rob's career for 15 years of my career, uh, coming down here, singing for the Rhinos on many, many occasions. Um, uh, and it's, uh, I'm really inspired by the courage and courageous uh, way in which he dealt with his illness. It really is there to inspire everyone. Well, Opera Man, the stadium is yours. Yeah. 
the 2nd of June, we were all heartbroken to learn of the passing of our hero, Rob Burrow, CBE. Rob, who played his entire career for Leeds Rhinos, was a true inspiration throughout his life, whether that was on the rugby field or during his battle with MND. Rob never allowed others to define what he could achieve and always believed in his own ability to do more. For those who knew Rob, his determination and spirit in the face of MND came as no surprise. Rob never accepted that he couldn't do something. He just found his own way of doing it better than anyone else. He will continue to inspire us all every day. There is and will only ever be one Rob Burrow. I've never felt emotion like it in a rugby league stadium. Lindsay Burrow, Rob's wife, applauding the efforts of his former teammates, the supporters in here, and the Leeds Rhinos club. Friends, family, men who share changing rooms, and the two people that raised Rob Burrow, his parents, Jeff and Irene. All standing on, all applauding with what they've just seen. It is incredible here at Headingley Stadium. Now the players of the Betfred Super League from the Leeds Rhinos and the Lee Leopards will play their part in honoring the memory of the late Rob Burrow. It's round 15 of the Betfred Super League. We have two sides with so much to play for. Let's hope for two sides that will play the game in the same spirit that Rob Burrow played the game. Let's go over to your commentary team for this special game on what has been the most special of nights, Kyla Moore and Dave Woods. <laughs> 